hello everyone and welcome to the channel welcome to another video in smart question series your daily dose of smart problem solving uh, we have already done two part of this particular series in which we have taken questions from quantum chemistry one of the question from variational principle and expectation value of Hermit, uh, of hamiltonian operator and another question from uh, commutator so these two questions were taken from the recent csr net exam which was csir june 2024 exam now I thought to continue the same concept and continue the uh, same thing and to discuss a question which was asked in gate 2024 which was the last gate exam of course because this is kind of a hybrid series where I am taking questions both from CSI net and from gate exam and this question is again from quantum chemistry especially this question is from your a Dirac notation. So in my first part of video I have discussed that how you use Dirac notations and how you solve questions related to that here i'll be uh, taking you to throughout the question which is very 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 easy to solve but still just because the the framework of the question or the way how it is asked it becomes challenging to uh, uh, to solve it okay so yeah you can search for this particular series as hashtag sqs which is for smart question series now let's start with it so here is a question which was asked in gate 2024 the question says that phi 1 and phi 2 are normalized Egan functions of Hermitian operator. Okay. Now they are given with a particular ket vector and it says that psi ket vector is equals to 3 i phi 1 plus 2 phi 2. Okay. Whereas there is one more vector which is chi. So chi ket vector is minus 2 i phi 1 plus phi phi 2. And they are asking you to calculate the value of uh, the bracket of psi and chi and then chi and psi. So basically this is a very simple question. Um, if you know how to solve Dirac notations, it is very simple to approach it. Okay. If you are not aware about Dirac notation, again I am telling you I have made a detailed video on Dirac notation. It is already on YouTube. I will give you a link for that in the i button. You can click on the i button and watch that video or at the end of this video when you see the end screens there also you will get that Dirac notation video. Okay. So you can watch that video to understand the concept in detail. I will just try to explain you the concept in the overview manner and I will try to solve this question and tell you how to how to do this type of question. Okay. So to start with we are given with let us first of all write down that what we have. Okay. So we are given with two uh, functions one is uh, two vectors one is ket vector of psi uh, which is equal to 3 i and then you have phi 1 and plus you have 2 and then you have phi 2 okay this is one of the ket vector and another ket vector is given to you which is with respect to uh, chi okay so this is chi and this is minus 2 i and then you have ket vector of phi 1 okay and plus 5 times of phi 2 okay they have also said that psi 1 uh, sorry uh, this phi 1 and phi 2 these are your uh, normalized Egan functions. So normalized Egan functions means uh, when you say a wave function is normalized, you say it is normalized. Okay, so for normalization, for normalization, the concept is that okay, in the form of Schrodinger's uh, notation, it is psi star psi d tau is equals to one, right? And I told you if you have watched my video on Dirac notation or if you have watched the first part of this is smart question series there also I have discussed that we generally write down this uh, psi star or this uh, co conjugate uh, wave function as the bra vector and this as the ket vector okay so the normalized form says this okay but this is for phi in the question it's not for phi actually it is for uh, it is for uh, like like this is for psi but in the question it is for phi 1 and phi 2 so according to question uh, according to question, the condition for normalization is that your phi 1 and phi 1 should be equal to 1. This is normalization of phi 1 and uh, then you have phi 2 and uh, phi 2. Okay, this is equals to 1. Also, we have to consider that phi 1 and phi 2 are orthogonal wave functions because then only your uh, like 
if these wave functions are normalized with respect to each other you have to consider them to be ortho uh, orthogonal okay now the orthogonal condition says that the wave function is not going to uh, like if you are going to take it two wave functions phi uh, psi 1 and psi 2 they should give you zero so that means for these are normalized condition okay let me just write down so normalized condition are normalized condition says that your phi 1 phi 1 is equals to 1 and your phi 2 okay phi 2 phi 2 is equals to 1 and orthogonal let us see if we if we will be using it or not but orthogonal condition says that if you have phi 1 phi 2 it will give you 0 or if you have phi 2 phi 1 this should also give you 0. Okay? So, if the wave functions are different, it will give you 0. If the wave functions are same, it should give you 1. Okay? Now, the thing is that you are given with the ket vectors. Uh, so, psi ket vector which is here and you are also given with the chi ket vector which is here. But in the quotient, you are also going to use the bra vector of them or the bra form of them. So, you have to write down the bra vector for uh, related to that. Okay? So, this is the ket vector which is given to you. The bra vector is very simple to write down. You just have to reverse the direction of this. Okay? So, 3i uh, is going to remain like that only and uh, then oh, okay. So, when you convert the ket vector to bra vector, you also change the sign of the complex conjugate. Okay? Whatever complex co conjugate you have, you also have to change the sign of that. So, if it is in plus, you have to write down it in minus. So, this will become minus 3i and then it will become sign you have to change. Okay? And plus this is does not have any iota form. So, sign will not change here. It will just remain 2 and then phi 2. Okay? So, this is the bra form of it. Similarly, you will do the same thing for chi. Okay? So, the bra form of this chi is going to be you have to change the sign of this. So, this will become 2i phi 1 and plus 5 phi 2. Okay? Now, you just have to use the thing which is given to you or the concept which is asked in the question. So, they are asking psi chi chi psi. So, let us write it down. So, uh, we have psi chi plus chi psi. Okay? This is what I have to calculate. Let us put the value. So, the value of psi and psi is the bra vector. So, I will write down this value. So, this will become very simple. This will be uh, minus 3i and then I will have phi 1 plus 2 phi 2, right? This is what I will have with respect to this. And actually, this is not the correct way of doing it. Like if somebody is from physics, he might point out that I am doing it like the way of doing it is wrong, but just to explain you, I am writing this step. Okay? Now, uh, you have to write down for chi. So, chi you are going to use the ket vector which is here. Okay? So, the value is minus 2i phi 1 and plus phi phi 2. So, minus 2i um, phi 1 and plus phi phi 2. Okay? So, this is for this part. Now, you have to do for this. So, here you have to write down the uh, bra form of the chi which is this. Okay? So, I will write down this so, 2i phi 1 okay? and plus 5 phi 2. Okay? And then I have the psi. Psi is 3i sorry. 3i phi 1, this is ket vector, right? 3i chi 1, yes. Uh, 3i phi 1 plus 2 phi 2. Okay? Now, you have to simplify. See, uh, these things when you are doing, I am just doing it to explain you. That is why uh, I am going to go step by step. But once you are done with it or once you understand, you do not have to do each and every step. You can skip some steps in between. So, this thing is going to get multiplied with it. So, when you multiply this with this, you are going to get 
uh, 3 and 2 will be 6 minus minus will get cancelled out and you will get i square ok. Then you will get uh, phi 1 phi 1 right phi 1 phi 1 and then you will have so this is multiplied ok. So, how I have written the bra form of it and cat form of it and this sign got merged in between ok. Then this will get multiplied with it so this got multiplied with it. So, plus minus will become minus 3 5 times is 15 ok and then you have i and then you have phi 1 phi 2 right phi 1 phi 2. Then you will do the same thing with this. So, you will have plus multiply this with this sorry plus minus will become minus right. So, this will become minus uh, 2 2 times is 4 i phi 2 phi 1 and then plus plus is plus 2 5 times is 10 and then you have phi 2 phi 2. So, this is when you solve this much. Similarly, you have to solve this part. I will do it in the next just, just downward here. So, it will become plus you multiply this with this. So, this becomes 6 i square and then you have uh, yeah, you have phi 1, phi 1 and then you multiply this with this. So, it becomes plus uh, 4i phi 1, phi 2. Then you multiply this with this. So, it becomes plus 15i uh, phi 2, phi 1 and plus um, yeah, 5, 2 times is 10 phi 2 phi 2. All right. Uh, now you can see that this term, this term, this term, and this term is going to become 0. Why? Because you know the orthogonal conditions are followed. So, phi 1, phi 2, or phi 2, phi 1, they are going to give you 0. So, these terms will give you 0, and the value of these terms is equals to 1, right? This, this, so the one which I have circled in yellow are going to become 1. So, you will get 6 i square, this is 0, this is 0, then you have plus 10 and plus 6 i square and plus 10, ok. Now, you have to solve this. So, i square you know is gives you the value of minus 1, ok. So, I can do that in the next slide. So, you have 6 i square plus 10 plus 6 i square plus 10. So, i square is minus 1, you know that. So, 6 into minus 1 plus 10 plus 6 into minus 1 and plus 10. So, this will become minus 6 plus 10, minus 6 plus 10. This will become minus 12 plus 20 and this will give you a value of 8, ok. So, the correct answer for this numerical answer type question should be 8. So, it is a very simple and easy question, just you need to understand the concept of ket and bra vector, which is called Dirac notation. Again, I am telling you, we have a detailed video on YouTube itself. It is not a long video, just 30 minutes video and if you watch that video, your concept of Dirac notation will be clear, alright. So, that is it from my side for this particular uh, part of smart question series. I hope you learned uh, something from this particular video. We have our own detailed batch running on our app as well as on our website. So, you can join our batch where I have completed all these physical chemistry topics in detail in the form of recorded lectures. You also get mock test in that particular course for physical chemistry practice so that you get used to solving certain questions of physical chemistry and the concepts of physical chemistry becomes rock solid for you for the preparation of CS and exam. So, that is called Gamma Batch and it is running on our app itself and also on our website. You can uh, purchase that from the link given in the description of this video. We have also a test series running for the upcoming gate exam. So, if you are preparing for gate exam, enroll yourself into the test series so that you can practice yourself along with the, uh, the, the way of uh, how this gate asks questions and the best thing about the test series is that we have included new types of question. These are not previous years question, these are all new questions in the test series and the interface of the test is very similar to what you get in the gate exam. 
so that's about your gate test series we have also launched ebooks for csr net as well as for the gate exams if you want to prepare for previous years questions you can purchase our ebooks uh, like which contains all the previous years questions for csr net the ebook contains questions from csr june 2011 till csr june 2024 whereas the ebook for gate that includes questions from gate 2000 to gate 2024 all these questions are segregated topic wise so that you can focus on a particular topic and prepare that topic well so that's it from my side for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care